put in at Willem this morning. Floated about seven, eight miles. This area was up and kind of muddy, but it's really calmed down. Find this little spot to put up a tent. Nice bluffs to look at. And of course, we had a very few hours sleep last night, so got the Esma stove out, making some coffee. I had enough time, we'd watch it brew that coffee, but it's not the fastest stove in the world with an alcohol fuel. Really looking forward to spending the evening here. Time passes very nicely out here on the river. An awesome day. You can see uh, we've got the uh, small fire going. Uh, we're getting our charcoal going. We use our Dutch ovens there. Gonna do a little brownies. Actually, gonna have some tacos tonight. Believe it or not, or tostadas. Got our boats up high in case the river does come up, but from the looks of that sky, it's looking really nice. We should have a good night. Oh yeah. I have some tostadas tonight. Have everything warming up. Most of this stuff pre prep. And underneath those distorted shells, which are being warmed right now on the top of that shadow, is a surprise. Yummy brownies. Mm. Yes. Look at this. I don't see your beer out yet. Oh, Five, five minutes earlier than what they said. Oh, they look great to me. Yeah. Uh, this time, I'm going to remember the cheese. Oh. Hey, we got a fire again. Yes, sir. We got a fire. I feel it. We need a fire in June. Mm -hmm. no, you definitely need a fire on the Buffalo River. This kind of fire. Habanero. I didn't miss the cheese this time. The river water was a little muddy, so we decided to filter it here. Just for the sole purpose of heating it up and doing our dishes. But really what I wanted to show you was our dessert. Kind of hard to focus on that whipped cream there. Oh yeah. Things are rough on the Buffalo River. River's alive already. Yes, sir.
little black diamond. Those were overnighters. Tell about their gear. Moving on too. But that's okay. We're gonna kick back. As you can see. Got the grill warming up. We're getting ready for brunch. Recall from last night, those islands weren't nearly as big as they are today. It's got to be because we just pumped a lot of water out of the river for you know cooking purposes and drinking purposes. Because uh, the water levels definitely dropped. Uh, the water's not quite as muddy as it was. That's because my filter's full of mud right now, most likely. Just trying to figure out what may have caused it. Uh, we're getting ready for brunch here. It's around 10:30 in the morning. We didn't have breakfast, just coffee, because we had such a large supper. But as you see right there, we got a couple of nice pieces of pork. Um, it's like we're getting some flame problems down there, although we're basically cooking on charcoal. I'll have to watch that closely, but that's got to be really good. We're going to come up with some eggs here in a few minutes in our Dutch oven, but it's going to be a while before we need to start them. It's another good day on the river. Brunch is almost ready. Ended up cutting those uh, pork steaks in half. You can notice before they were exceedingly thick. Eggs are ready to come off. We're ready to eat. Hi, welcome back. Still in the Buffalo River. Matter of fact, we're packing up and. Uh, about to head out in a few minutes. Sun's out, I must say. It's a later part of June. It's very warm out here. Large contrast to yesterday when the high was only around 82 degrees Fahrenheit. This is very nice. Overcast sky yesterday, as you can see this morning. I say this morning, it's roughly noon now. We have a, a, little, a few puffy clouds in the sky, very few. Water's probably dropped a good 12 to 14 inches. There's uh, Dave packing up the remaining of his gear. We come prepared for everything, if you can tell from the gear around. It's a great place to have camped, you can see right here. It's one of my favorite spots. I've probably camped here more than any other spot on the Buffalo River. And there are a lot of nice spots. Water, you can tell, is muddy. Very unusual. It's only because we had uh, some pretty significant thunderstorms yesterday morning upstream. I'm move out the current here a little bit. This pool is always uh, has several feet of water even during the dry season because it is a deep spot in the river. It's another reason it's so awesome to camp at. In the gravel bar, of course, it'll come out another 40, 50 feet when the river's down at its normal level. Uh, last night, this was quite a busy spot. Just uh, directly ahead in the center, there was a group of uh, guys camping there. I'd say there's uh, eight or nine of them, about six boats. Of course, Dave and I were up there basically under that shade tree until a few minutes ago. And then on that uh, gravel bar down there, there was uh, three or four people camping there. So this was uh, quite a hopping spot last night. It's a pretty cool rock. Yeah, the 
and shut this off until we get going. There's some nice water just around the bend downstream. See you then. Give you a break until we get up a little closer to that rock. Check these bluffs out down here. Okay, I'll bring you back and 
find out what's around that next bend. Well, we've got our choice here. I think Dave's going to take that side, as he says, the lazy side. Well, we've got a choice of the scenic side. Let's try the scenic side, the shade over there. Ouch. That popping was my elbow. Old age sitting there. 